Right, hello guys and welcome. We'll try and keep this as uh, short and as quick as possible just to let you all have a wee quick nosy. We know this is the new H520, everybody knows that nice big bright orange machine. Completely different than the H480. As you can see the LED is no longer on the back like we're used to on the 480 for mode indication. But we'll have a few other extra features that the H does not have. The two rear lights on the rear arms, which are folded down, if you can see the colour with this phone of mine, which is crap, are actually purple. And you look at the controller and it says up there, we are in angle mode. Okay, the other thing about this, if you want to know the heading, the controller has azimuth and a compass. You can see we're pointed 354 degrees north. And if I move and turn this around, you can see the compass has changed to 321 degrees. And I'll move it again behind, you can see it moving. So you'll never lose orientation with this machine because you can see the compass. And also down here, you tap this wee screen and we'll come up a map. And there's a red arrow. You can see the H, which is the, the H is the controller itself. The red arrow, it will move is the aircraft and as you fly about the red arrow will move all about all over the screen and it will point forward and show you the, the heading of the craft and it's not the same as the H where it tells you what way to move the stick to bring it back the red arrow points the heading of the aircraft okay so we'll tap this screen again. we'll leave the map up we'll leave the map up so we're in angle mode as you can see there angle mode we've got purple lights here we'll switch now, we'll have, we don't have smart mode, smart mode is now gone, we'll have manual mode which more or less just disables GPS and you'll be flying without GPS. And listen. Manual flight mode. Oh, manual flight mode. You can see now it tells you you're in manual. And you can also see the color LEDs has now changed to blue for manual. Also orientation has got proper navigation, it has green and it has red on the left and right hand sides and it has white to the front, although the white's a little bit bluish looking but it's, it's white. If we change this into return to launch, which it won't do because I haven't taken off, return to launch flight mode. the lights have now went yellow on the back two arms, all the rest remain the same, the back two now changed to yellow. Go back into angle mode. Angle flight mode. We're in the purple. Manual flight mode. We're in the manual flight mode. We're blue. Angle flight mode. Angle flight mode purple. Return to launch flight mode. Return to launch flight mode yellow. Angle flight mode. So all the modes are still there and we also have extra little features. We have a wee nice lovely looking wee compass down here. We've got our latitude and our longitude. We have our speed. We can change our speed from feet Per second the uh, miles per hour the meters per second uh, there's lots of stuff you can do tells you your height you can switch the maps you can download the maps and have them already saved in the st16s they're catched in there so you don't need to be relying on a data connection uh, there's loads of wee features you can go in you can set up waypoints uh, you can set up survey missions Still needs a lot of work, I have to say, now the H520 does need an awful lot of work. Some of the smart modes like Orbit and stuff like that is missing. Orbit Me, I don't, although I don't need Orbit Me, but it's missing. Uh, point of Interest is missing. But these wee things will come along as firmware progresses with the H520 like anything else. It'll take a wee bit of time, but uh, hopefully it will get there in the end. But there you go, that's the colour indications of the modes. You still have Obstacle Avoidance. And you can see that we now have a, I wonder what it changed with my hand there, moving. I don't think my hand's really enough. But we'll have uh, the indicator on the screen as well for your obstacle avoidance. You maybe hear that clicking. Maybe, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Turn that back off again, landing gear up and down. Start the motors. Good thing about this too is whenever you land, this lands butter smooth. You just throttle down and once you hit the ground, you hold down the throttle and the motors automatically shut themselves off. 
The camera modes are much the same, uh, tilt mode and pan mode work pretty much the same as the Typhoon H does. But other than that, this is a totally different aircraft. It flies smooth as butter. And uh, not saying anything bad about it, but uh, it does need certain features updated with it, like anything else. Hopefully we will get some other extra features in due course. But that remains to be seen. Anyway, that was just a wee quick video there just to let you see the flight mode and the LED indicator status lights on the back rear arms now, which are no longer on the LED, which used to be on the back of the H420. Here. But anyway, I'm going to make another wee video later on. A couple of other wee things on this machine. And I plan to make a few more videos over the time to come. Right, guys. All the best, 70 fees, two thirds, and we will get you again later. Bye bye for now. Shamoon.